your girl Sashana, also known as JA Doll. Thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you guys for staying subscribed, even though I've been inconsistent. I love you guys, okay? So today's video, as you guys can see by the title, I will be doing something a little different. It's an inspiration that I've got and let's see how it goes. If you guys like the video, make sure to like it up, thumbs it up, subscribe and share with somebody you think would be beneficial of this video, okay? As you can see by my shirt, positive energy per, only positive energy over here. So if you are negative, please log out. Um, yeah. So let's get right into the video. No, I'm not engaged in case I want to. This is just my promise ring. If you have follow me, you know somebody by a promise ring. Okay. Get back to the video. So the title is Dealing with Depression, Grief, and Bullying. Now, I don't have any notes. I'll just be talking off the top of my head as the inspiration comes and hope that this will bless someone. Okay. So let's get right into the video okay guys so let's start with bullying so i've been scrolling on tiktok a lot lately and i've been seeing a lot of persons experiencing bullying bullying is never okay so if you're a bully right now you need to stop because bullying is never okay we need to normalize getting help for those persons that are being bullied because a lot of persons are being bullied and then commit suicide and that is worse not okay um like i know bullying is harsh i know it's cruel but committing suicide and killing yourself because someone is bullying you it's like you just give them the win you make them win you have to like to be frank you have to be strong to even exist in this world you have to be strong because you're not gonna have everybody on your side you're not gonna have everybody that likes you you are going to have people that dislike you you're gonna have people that trouble you bully you you're gonna have people that just don't like you for no reason but does that mean that you just give it up give it up all for them does that mean that you just say all right call it quits on life because you're making them win we can't make them win our naysayers should make us go harder our naysayers should make us want to do more okay i i don't remember exactly the person name that i saw on um tiktok that committed suicide because of bullying and i was so sad by it because she was like 13 years old she hasn't experienced life yet. She has so much in her future. And the fact that she did that is like, it's very sad. It's really sad. But we can't let them win at the end of the day. So persons that are troubling you are persons that are saying things that may make you feel less valuable or sad. Mm -mm. We're gonna find that strength. Wherever we have to find it, we're going to find that strength okay the strength to continue doing us continue being ourselves we have to we cannot let them win it's it's a similar situation with jesus and um jesus and the devil like no matter how hard the devil is trying jesus is not giving up on his people no matter how much people the devil is using jesus is still there he's not trying to Oh, my God, just back up because the devil had tried too hard and he might do. No. So he's made out all of us different, yes. But he's made all of us with a strength. Okay. We're going to go on to the next. Let's tackle depression. A lot of persons are going through depression right now. Depression is the highest level of sadness. Like, hopeless. Um, and people are depressed for different reasons personal reasons different different reasons nobody's depressed babe. everybody's not depressed on the same situation everybody have different situations going through that may cause them to develop depression fine life is life then understood but my thing is even when we are having hard times even when we are going through bad times tough times difficult times we're still here and that for me says that we are supposed to be here. We are supposed to experience these hard times. These hard times are part of our story. It's a part of what God wants us to, to feel. It teaches us many of these times that we're going through hard times. It teaches us a valuable lesson, a life lesson. 
and when we move on to certain situations we are saying I can't face this because I go through this and I come out so a lot of times we need to go through these tough times we need to remember all the time that we have a purpose that is the next thing why I don't believe in suicide because why would God create me why would I be in existence that makes no sense like if I was not supposed to be here, if you were not supposed to be here, then you guys wouldn't exist. Like, a lot of times we can't even explain the situation, why we have to go through it. And I read something, and it's actually factual. Like, a lot of times the good persons, the genuine persons that go through really tough times, and we don't get why why would god put me to this if i am actually being a good person in this world like i'm not stealing i'm not killing i'm being a good person i'm giving positive energy i am sharing encouraging stuff with persons like why would i go through these bad things we don't know but it's not for us to know because not everything that god does we will understand a lot of things that he does we'll never understand and that's okay we are just humans he's god we don't need to understand everything we just need to trust him and know that at the end of this story at the end of our journey we trust him and we came out on top winning precisely but yeah i know a lot of persons are going through depression and i just want to encourage you girl or boy like don't give the enemy the chance to say oh i win that's the takeaway from this video because giving up is basically saying like all right i have nothing to live for um god is god but i don't trust him enough so i believe that like it's like you're questioning your creator the reason why you're here it's like you're questioning your own existence you don't have no strong faith to know that oh there's a purpose on my life all of that like we need to be more positive <laughs> we need more positivity in the world we are too negative um being on tiktok i've observed a lot like people run with negativity like whoa if somebody's doing something positive, yes, it gets shares and whatever, but not as much as how persons dwell on the negative. Like, why can't we have that same energy with positive things? Like, make it make sense. Why? Like, when someone is good, someone is doing good, why can't we... Why can't we embrace that? A lot of times, say for example you may be walking on the street and you see a homeless person a less fortunate person begging and someone may give them something or someone may not give them something why don't we put our energy in, in helping less fortunate and persons that can't afford certain things etc because a lot of time persons pass these people they don't pay them any mind they don't give them any contribution nothing like that but you see if you're passing and there's like a big war going out the street with girl fight of a man or something. Believe me, majority of the time you're seeing a crowd. You're seeing people have up them phone, all of that. Embracing negativity. And a lot of the time that, that is what leads to depression, you know. Because we're so negative, we have no hope. We have it's like we're hopeless we have no hope that even though i'm going through this it will get better so me not give up sometimes we need to self-talk yourself too and encourage yourself we don't need nobody to encourage you because a lot of times when you're up on your face there will be no one around it will just be you so you need to find that in you be be the person that can motivate yourself be the person that can uplift yourself so when you have no one around you can still be popping boo and i'm going to touch on is grief this one is a tricky one because as much as i expound on bullying and depression and saying don't give up 
grief is a little different i know about grief because i lost my father a couple of years ago so i know what grief is the thing with grief everybody healing process is different everybody timeline for healing will be different and you will have those persons that will just never heal from grief precisely they learn to live and cope with it and I believe once we accept whatever it is that we're grieving about it makes the process a lot easier not saying we'll fully be healed but it makes the process easier like accepting my dad's death was hard and I think to be honest I don't think I've really spoken about it a lot but I know it's I know he's dead but it's like I operate as though he's living in a totally different continent and I just can't hear from him precisely so yes he's dead yes I accept he's dead but it's like I don't think I've properly I don't think I've properly overcome the whole healing process and grief and all of that because I don't think about it non non all like I literally do not think about it I don't think about his death I don't think about where he is none of that I just operate as if this man is in a totally different country and I just can't hear from him precisely precisely <laughs> and it works for me because I think if I was like dwelling on it and be like oh my god man is no longer here he won't see when i get married and i go walk me down the house all of that that would make me go in a state of depression on me that's sad i'm gonna want that so that's why i'm handling with it at this point i think different persons would have different coping methods so um it's really dependent on you as a person your persona but my my little two cents on grief is don't your grief to take over your life so you know some person going through grief they don't want to get up and be they don't want to come outside all of that no mm -mm. you know pass the accepting phase yet yeah i have to understand the life still continue regardless and yes the person is not here because i'm speaking specifically to that now yes the person is not here but i am here and i have to act as though i'm here i can't be present in the body and i just i pretend as my dad no life still continues you still have to get up and show you still have to go work you still have to continue with life you just have to find ways how to distract yourself from dwelling on it um probably if you like to paint buy a canva buy some paint some paint in your free time the time where you would have take for think about it your paint if you like but oh i don't know you like for go beach you like for go out for eat do those stuff stuff that will not make you dwell on it stuff that will take your mind off it do those stuff and a lot of persons when they're grieving they don't want anybody around in their space that is a wrong bang you need persons in your space because it's like yes you don't want to talk to nobody you don't have to talk to people but you need people around you so yes you don't need people you don't want people in your space i don't feel like talking to anybody but having persons around helps you don't have to talk to them but people around you say people are do this people are do that and whatever whatever it brings you back to a reality check say Oh God, I'm still there. I'm still have to continue. The thing is, too, this is my, I think, yeah, thank God for reminding me. This is my big thing. You see, the thing with, with death, it's sure. You cannot prevent it. No matter how much money you have, no matter how much, how much assets you have, no matter if you're brown, black, white, you are an artist, you are one poor man, you are one rich man, no matter what, you're dead sure. You have to die and you see once you accept that that you don't know when you don't know when you're gonna die you don't know how once you accept that it will make that process a lot easier because that is life is so unpredictable and that is every day every day somebody did you know new one year time so we have to just live 
good and just hope for the best. Oh. When someone dies, you know, make you take a big toll on you. Yes, you're gonna hurt, you're gonna discourage all of that. That is normal. You're human, that is normal. But when you're going to let it affect your life, your daily duties as a human being, then that is not okay. You have to you have to accept the fact say, well, this person died, but this person not gonna want me to stay the whole day, the whole years uh be sad about them that me not eat, me not do nothing like mm -mm. Alright, so that was grief about death. And you have grief about partners too, because you have people who grieve about breakup. As hilarious as that sounds, people actually do it. Like, baby, I forgot to talk about a relationship one one next time. But, baby, grieving about a boy is insane. <laughs> actually, no, I'm even stopping up. No, baby. Men are disappointments. Not all men, of course. So don't get don't get me wrong. Men don't come for me. But like they've disappointed us so many times. So grieving about a boy or a man. I have nothing to say on it actually. I should have bring it up. <laughs> because I don't understand how that even up in. How... Why would you do that? Like you guys need to develop self-love, baby. Self-love. I'm all for self-love. Because 99% of the time, the females always love the man more and the man they zag them. So, I don't know how much of you agree with a man. Come and we are beautiful, baby. Beautiful. So, we tackled bullying. What did we say about bullying? We say it's never okay for someone to bully you. We're saying that bullying is never okay. We're also saying that suicide is not okay as a, ca as a cause of bullying. But then we are also saying, find that strength to not give up. Find that strength. call it quits for your life. Find that strength to say, okay, this is what's happening to me right now, but I will not give up. This is what's happening to me, but I will find the strength to hold out, to hold out. I will find the strength. Persons that are bullying persons, stop it. Cut it out. And for the persons that are being affected by bullying, do not give them the win. Just say, oh, you could, do, you, you could find the strength, you eh? just give them it, basically. You know, like when I play talk at war, and instead of you fight back for pull the string, you just let it go. I mean, other, other team win. We can't allow that. So find that strength to not give in to bullying. Okay? And then we spoke about depression. We are saying that yes, we're gonna have rough times when we're depressed. You're gonna have rough times when we're sad, but don't make it lead it to a point where you just feel hopeless. You don't feel like better go come. Always, always in a seat with your eyes. Always believe that better is coming. You don't know the future. You don't know. A lot of persons that are successful today, they didn't know that they would be successful. I mean, besides from a person that inheritance passed down, but like for a person that came from a struggling background out they didn't know and they went through a lot of hard times but they didn't give up they did not give up and that is what i'm encouraging you guys to do don't give up this video is very random but i believe that god wanted me to make this video for someone i don't know who is going to see this video that is that needed this video but it's just an inspiration that i got and i'm gonna put out the effort for make it even though i don't have any substantial um, points or anything like that I'm just talking off my head as the, as the spirit of God is just giving me words that's what I'm doing I'm just talking I'm not I'm not I'm not reading off anything I'm just talking you know how long this video is how short it is but I'm gonna wrap up because that's just my two cents I'm not trying to make these videos extra long but just like test out the crowd see if you guys would be interested in videos like this and yeah um so guys just remember you are the prize no matter what people say no matter how you feel you are the prize and once they know say you are the prize they can't think less of yourself okay 
Alright guys, I love you so much. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, share. And you can also give me topics that you guys would want me to talk about. I have a few though, because as myself said, I got an inspiration for do videos like this and I'm running with it. I don't know if it will be successful, I don't know if it will be a total fail, but I am just doing as the feeling come. May yeah, I just do. Okay? Um, so don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I love you all so much. Bye.